Scott here from Cortex. Today we're going to learn how to set up a Dropbox account for the NVR. What you will need in advance is to already have a Dropbox created and you'll need the email address for that Dropbox. Let's go into setup. You need to go to network and email first. We have to have an email set up here, server, to send out the email to set up the Dropbox. So you'll have a sending email. I have my sending and receiving the same using a Gmail account. Um, you can look up the SMTP information for any email by Googling it and it'll give you the settings. For this particular one is 465 for the port smtp.gmail.com for the SMTP server. The username is the email address. Password is the password for that email address. Sender is the name for the sending email. And then your receiving email. This is the most important for Dropbox. It has to be the email that the Dropbox is set up under. Let's go ahead and shoot a test email real quick. You can see it was successful so we can go back and now we can go to storage and cloud activate cloud storage we're going to activate cloud for Dropbox are we sure yes it's going to send an activation email for us This may take a couple of minutes. Usually it's right away. You can see here's our activation. Click on the email, click on the direct link. As you can see here, Dropbox needs to be activated for this device. Please make sure that the PC is on the same network as the device and enter the local IP address of the device below. The IP address can be found in the network section of the device settings. So, what it says by device is our NVR's IP address. So that's what I'm going to put in here. Leave it on port 80. Hit authorize. User authentication is our admin account to our NVR or DVR. Hit OK. And see our author authorization has succeeded. It's going to Turn it, return us to Dropbox here in just a second. Our Dropbox is now linked to our NVR. We're going to hit apply. And now it's activated. I set my Dropbox up to usually do AVI. You can name the folders in which the NVR creates within Dropbox. Hit apply. And then under your alarm settings, motion. This is where we set it up to send video or pictures to the cloud on motion alert. I have all my cameras set up to send pic snapshots and you can set up up to two cameras to send a small video clip to Dropbox. You can also set this up in our AI settings like for facial detection, go into alarm and you'll see a picture to cloud. You cannot do video with the pedestrian and human detection you can with the LPD uh, you'll just want to go into any of these settings and set make sure that you have either picture to cloud or video to cloud set up in order for it to send either pictures or videos to the cloud that's it have a great day